Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Learning Path. This is Dr. B. Meena, Head Department of Commerce and Vice Principal Shift Fund. In this video, I'm going to discuss what are the advantages and limitations of cost of counting. Click the I button on the top to see my previous videos which I posted in cost accounting. Before I'm going to discuss the advantages and limitations, just look at my previous videos about the terms relating to cost accounting. What do you mean by cost, costing, cost accountancy, and cost accounting to have a more understanding about the advantages and limitations of cost accounting. Let me discuss the advantages of cost accounting. I divided it into four. What are the uses to the management? What are the uses to the uh, employees? What are the uses to the uh, government? And what are the uses to the creditors? So first we'll have a discussion about what are the advantages or benefits or the uses of cost accounting to the management. So look at the first point, effective decision making. Without the cost accounting, no management can take the decisions regarding the profitability or the fixing the selling prices like that. So cost accounting provides information regarding individual products, departments, divisions, and cost centers. This facilitates the management to identify the more profitable or the unprofitable centers or the operations in order to improve the overall profitability of the company. Thus, I can say it's a very important tool for the management in decision making. The second point I mentioned here, measuring efficiency with the help of cost accounting only the management can set either the budget or the standard what is to be the target or the standard for various elements of cost like material or the labor or any other expenses and compare them what is the standard what is the actual cost so compare them now to measure the efficiency whether we are the actual cost is more than the standard or the actual cost is less than the standard are par with the standard in order to check the efficiency of the company. Then third uh, advantage I mentioned here is cost reduction. It's a very uh, helpful to the management. That is cost reduction is very helpful to the management in reduction of cost through its techniques. Uh, there are a lot of techniques how to reduce the cost. By having this techniques, we can have an efficient and effective utilization of raw materials, labor, and an optimum production of output. Then fourth one I uh, mentioned here, it is fixation of selling price. Cost accounting only provides the information under uh, various classifications. One of them uh, and the base of behavior of cost is, we divide the cost into fixed cost and variable cost. With this information, a company can fix the selling price for their product after adding the margin of the profit. So thus, I can say cost accounting is very helpful in fixing the selling prices. And fourth advantage, sorry, uh, fifth advantage is effective cost control. So the fundamental objective of cost accounting is to ascertain the control in the cost, to ascertain and also simultaneously, they need to check whether we have a control over the cost. The segregation of costs uh, at different stages is very helpful in uh, effective control through standard costing as well as the budgetary costing. Then the sixth advantage mentioned here, it is increase in efficiency. Under an efficient cost accounting system, proper inventory control, labor utilization, and proper analysis of expenditure is possible. This results in increased efficiency throughout the organization. And next is, Effective inventory controls. Inventory means the material, the stock. An efficient cost accounting system only helps in effective inventory control through various techniques that we are going to discuss in the uh, forthcoming videos like uh, ABC analysis, stock verification, VED analysis, and levels of stock. So we can have a control over the inventory cost only because of cost accounting. Reduction of wastage. Uh, that is a uh, reduction of wastage of materials and wages. So uh, we set a target. Uh, what is the labor cost? What is the metal cost? So once we set the target, 
we will have a follow up and monitor to check whether the metal cost or the labor cost uh, should not uh, go beyond the uh, standard we fixed so that is a very important feature of cost accounting so we can have a reduction of wastages uh, because of metal or else the labor okay effective utilization of resources apart from material or labor we will have a check on the effective utilization of resources uh, especially i can say the marginal cost is very helpful in decision making regarding make or buy decisions uh, what is make or buy decision means say for example a tv manufacturing company either they can buy the assembling parts from outside stores or they can produce themselves so based on the contributions okay so they have to count, uh, compare the contribution of the uh, company by checking what is the contribution per unit for if they are going to produce themselves or if they are going to purchase from outlets so they have to check on the contribution and whether to make or buy decision can take place here so by this way we can utilize our own resources very effectively not only uh, make or buy decisions like profit planning export decisions effective utilization of the key factors sales mix etc standard costing and budgetary control are all helpful in effective utilization of resources the last one is i mentioned here is uh, cost accounting is very helpful in budget effective budget making that is it emphasizes the cost accounting is always emphasized and records both historical cost as well as predetermined cost without additional effort budgetary control can be operated uh, that is uh, when cost systems are used so these are all the advantages to the management uh, through the cost accounting let me check uh, what are the advantages to the uh, employees i mentioned here the advantages are stability of tenure fair wage pay or policy uh, third one is rewards for uh, higher efficiency through incentive schemes so what is the first point i mentioned stability of tenure a good costing system is very helpful to the management in increasing productivity uh, and profitability of the firms in case if a company is very progress progress in the sense the productivity as well as the profitability is good that is we can say the company is going very progressively automatically the job security of the employees also ensured in the company so only because of the cost effective a good costing system the productivity will be more the profitability will be more automatically the beneficiaries are all the employees they will ensure the job satisfaction as well as the job security in the company the second thing is i said if profitability is more the productivity is more means automatically the beneficiaries are none other than employees only so they will get a good salary and they will have a job satisfaction also if the costing system is uh, good in that company and third one is rewards for higher efficiency only by cost accounting we can recognize the employees who is really efficient who is less efficient so the company may recognize those employees who is really loyal and efficient to the uh, to the that is company whatever targets is set by the company those employees will be recognized by the uh, company through incentives apart from the salary incentive is additional benefits so what are the additional benefits that a company is ready to give it to the employees one who is really efficient only because of cost accounting system they will segregate the employees who is efficient who is less efficient so these are all the advantages to the employees and next is advantages to the creditors what are the advantages to the creditor means understanding the in case i'm go, uh, the company is uh, trying to get uh, uh, funds from outside parties the third party must ensure the uh, the credibility of the company i mean the company is going in progressive manner or in the profitability manner i have to check before i am going to sang, uh, sanction a loan to the company so to the creditors the cost accounting is very helpful in understanding the progress and profitability of the firm and future prospects of the firm also the next one is what are the advantages to the government advantages to the government i can say granting of subsidies planning of resources utilization of cash resources 
cost data of specific industries and general trend of cost can be in uh, can influence the government to initiate appropriate changes in granting of subsidies formulating taxation policies or the import and export legislation policies etc so to the public also a good system costing system helps in proper utilization of resources as well as uh, the cost reduction is helpful uh, in fair prices of uh, products and profitability of organization in helpful in prosperity of the industry to more employment opportunities to the members of the public so uh, these are all the advantages of a cost accounting to the management to the creditors to the employees to the government to the public uh, let me check out there are some limitations of cost accounting also the limitations i listed out here lack of uniformity second and data conventions the uncertainty costly applicability and items not shown in cost accounts which uh, they are all shown only in financial accounts so that may be a difference of uh, uh, profits uh, as per cost accounts as per financial accounts so let me check one by one what is the limitation of cost accounting lack of uniformity there is no uniform system of costing applicable to all industries even for the same firm two different cost accountants may arrive at a two different cost figures that is a very important limitation of a cost accounting uh, second one is uh, cost accounting using the second hand data they, are, they they didn't depend on the primary data uh, costing depends on financial accounts for a lot of information which is a second hand uh, any errors or shortcomings in that data will creep into cost accounts also okay that is a second disadvantage and third disadvantage i can say conventions several conventions are routinely applied or used in costing which may not be appropriate in all situations for example um, classifying overheads into variable and fixed recovery of overhead on machinery uh, or labor or basis etc i can say the conventions routinely applied in the cost accounting uh, which may not appropriate in all situations okay Uh, the fourth are disadvantages uncertainty uh, estimates are used in different contexts like uh, tenders or uh, quotations or a conta uh, contracts uh, different methods of pricing of metals available several methods of absorption and apportionment of uh, overheads can be used so all these factors lead to uncertainty or uh, uh, uncertainty and fluidity in costing it becomes difficult to derive the uh, correct cost actual cost may differ from estimated cost rendering quotations etc which will be very erroneous to the people one is depending on the uh, decisions of cost accounting so the fifth one is very important uh, limitation is so costly uh, the need to observe several formalities to derive benefits of costing makes it costly you know, for small and medium uh enterprises only large scale undertakings can utilize the cost accounting concepts and sixth one is uh, applicability uh costing is applicable uh, mostly in primary that is in manufacturing and service firms it is not useful for trading firms so the applicability matters a lot that is one of the disadvantage of cost accounting uh i can say the last disadvantage is some of the items usually will not show in cost accounting it is showed only in financial accounting so there may be a disagreement of profits between cost accounting as well as the financial accounting that is a very important disadvantage of a cost accounting so through this uh, video you came to know what are the advantages and limitations of uh, cost accounting uh, thank you for watching my video uh, subscribe my 